Well, hello everybody and welcome to another video tutorial. My name is Peter Draklitz and today I would like to show you a quick tip, compositing tip for reducing the noise in some of your renderings and uh, uh, it might be useful especially when you have those flies, uh, I mean the, this noise and so let's go ahead and get started. First of all, I would like to say you that in this scene here I have set from the rendering panel, I have set the in the sampling tab the samples render samples to as low as 31 and i did this intentionally so i can show you how this uh, trick or technique works so even in this low value we're going to be trying to fix in the noise uh, through using the compositing technique so let's go ahead and first uh, press f12 and render our scene really quick so you can see that in uh, at this low level low uh, low number of samples uh, our image has a considerable amount of noise you can see here especially on the wall okay we have those white uh, you know uh, spots here that we usually call flies all right and uh, we're going to tr be trying to fix them through using uh, just compositing and especially the uh, new node which is called the speckle the speckle node in uh, blender so in just a while uh, in just a moment we we are going to have this rendering you can see it has a considerable amount of noise here so let's go ahead and switch over to the compositing layout from over here okay now i want to go to the nodes uh, you know uh, to our nodes uh, uh, editor and if you haven't uh, just yet enabled the use notes option just go ahead and use notes click on that so we can use the notes for compositing as well and click on this backdrop option so you have a backdrop behind the nodes now let me remind you uh, some very useful shortcuts for navigating the uh, node editor first is that we want to click and hold and uh, move around the middle mouse button of your uh, of your mouse so we can move the nodes okay but we want to click alt uh, plus the middle mouse button and we can this way move the backdrop this way okay that's another very interesting shortcut now we can always press home so we can center both the backdrop and the nodes and make them fit inside our uh, nodes editor window and of course we can press V for zooming out the backdrop and Alt V for zooming in the backdrop so having uh, said, having talked about these shortcuts let's go ahead and add uh, our nodes first of all press shift space bar so you can maximize the uh, node editor window and we want now to go ahead and add a node this speckle node but before that i want to add a need an output excuse me viewer node here and i want to connect this image here to the output uh, viewer node now i can press alt v and i can see through the viewer node my image how this would look like now i'm going to be adding a filter this speckle node and the this speckle node I'm going to be linking this, connecting this somewhere here and uh, what this does, uh, this node does, is that it actually tries to detect and to remove any noise in your image so now, if I, I want to play a little bit with those sliders here the threshold, the neighbor uh, sliders so by reducing the threshold here you can make uh, even more you know, pixels to uh, be affected by the, the speckle node and also you might want to uh, to set the radius for the neighbor pixels to get affected by the uh, by the uh, this speckle node so let's say I wanted to set this somewhere here perhaps alright something like so and I can see already we have a great improvement in our image uh, but you know, I want to also go ahead and add yet another output viewer node here so I can see the original image and fit this here. So here it is the original image and here it is our new 
image uh, after the speckle node and perhaps I would like to add also a split viewer node and the split viewer node allows us for comparing two different images first of all let's connect the original image to the top to the top socket and the uh, and the uh, image uh, after the speckle node to the bottom socket so now if I go ahead and and scrub the slider here you can see I can uh, compare the image before and the image after the display node. You can see how this area here, how this part of the image looked like before and how it looks like now. But you can also see that we have some considerable amount of noise somewhere here in the in the in the areas here of the surface of the objects even after having applied the display node. It did a, a, a nice job here but it didn't reduce a lot the noise somewhere here so uh, we might have to uh, to try also uh, to add to adding a soften filter so um, to our image so after the speckle node shift a go ahead hit shift a and click and select a filter filter node now the filter node has a a, a selector here and you from from where uh, you can select different types of filters so I am selecting the soften filter and you can see that my entire image now has been softened out which is might not exactly what I want so in order to uh, to limit to delimit the effect of softening my image into just the area this part here the surface of the of those objects here or perhaps those surfaces here I want to also go ahead and add a shift A hit shift A another filter node now but at this time I want to select from the selector here uh, the Kirsch uh, filter so I'm, I'm going to be uh, adding this node connecting this just after the original image alright so link this here connect this here so now the Kirsch node what this does is that it adds a net detect filter alright so uh, if I now go ahead and, and fit this into the viewer node you can see how this looks like uh, the Kirsch uh, try, uh, filter tries is trying to detect uh, those areas with high contrast especially the edges it's a net detecting filter and now I want to use this uh, this uh, curse filter as a mask that is going to be controlling the factor uh, of the uh, of the soften filter down here so uh, first I have to do some uh, adjustments here to the curse filter of course first of all I want to add a color invert node and I want to connect this uh, to the curse filter after the curse filter I mean and let's and let's uh, fit this into the output viewer now you can see that we have inverted the colors and therefore we have made the, the lines here the edges uh, dark and this is something that I want to do because I want then uh, I want for those dark lines here the soften filter is not going to be affected in these uh, edges here around the edges but it's going to be have an effect in the in the white areas of the curse filter so now uh, the the next thing I want to do is to convert this colored image RGB image into a black and white image by uh, by adding a converter RGB to the W and and connecting the uh, this node somewhere here so now as you can see I have made this a black and white uh, value image I connect now this I'm feeding this to the factor socket of my soften filter and now let's have a look at the, how my image looks like our image looks like now as you can see if I use my split viewer node and I scrub the slider you can see how this looked before you can see uh, by zooming in by pressing alt V you can see some flies here but after the softening filter even those flies have been uh, disappeared alright in these areas also we have kept our edges quite sharp as you can see it's because we have applied the uh, the Kirsch and invert and uh, black uh, RGB to black and white set of nodes as a factor to the uh, to the soften filter so although our image is not perfect but 
again for such a low level such a low amount of uh, of uh, uh, of render samples here it looks rather nice so let's have a look how our image uh, looked like before uh, so uh, press V to zoom out so this is how it looked like before adding this uh, you know set of nodes here and this is how it looks like now as you can see we have a considerable improvement in our image so that was our tutorial for today i hope you enjoyed it you learned something from this and if you like this don't forget to subscribe see you next time with another hopefully interesting topic hopefully soon until then have fun and goodbye